<laughs> hey guys, happy Friday. Woo, it's Friday, April 12th, 2019. Super excited it's Friday and even more excited to have Janice Garcia on the show. <laughs> so let us know you can hear us and see us. That's the most important thing. Importante. Uh, Importante. See, I like how you I, said see, that. I got it. I got it. Marty, what's, uh, it's one thing. I know it's Canada. Hi, Lori. Um, I know a few Spanish words. Cervezas, baño. Cervezas, beer. Yeah, the, <laughs> so the important yeah, stuff. Margarita, Corona. All right, so we got a thumbs up. Hey, Jason. Hey, Olga. Um, welcome to the show. I'm super excited to have you on the show. You've had Thank a big you. week, a couple of big yeah. weeks. We have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Um, we had a couple of days off, and now we're back. Yep. So, welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so happy I'm to have to you. I'm excited to be here. I, I, you do such great work, oh, and, and I love watching you all the time. Well, I mean, I didn't even pay her to say that. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> all right, so tell it. They always like the origin story. So tell us a little bit about you. Give us a little background yeah. on you, and you didn't have the real tour Barbie doll. No. Uh, so you obviously had dreams and thought things, things you wanted to do yeah. prior to being a real tour. I did. I won't go into the, the, I'm from Puerto Rico and then speed up 30 something <laughs> Oh no, years. yeah. I was born no. and now I'm a realtor. <laughs> no, but I am from uh, Puerto Rico and I tried to find my Puerto Rican flag because as a true Puerto Rican, we always come we always have away. that flag. We always have it. It better but be in the car. No. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be right here right now with me. But uh, I was born in Puerto Rico and uh, I left when I was two or actually five years old from Puerto Rico. My dad is the oldest of 16 uh, brothers and sisters. Wow. I come from a huge family, so I'm very much family oriented. My mom is the oldest of 12. So my dad left the island and had big dreams and wanted to be able to you know, do something different. So he was the first to leave. And a lot of my family is still there. Actually, all of my uncles and aunts, maybe outside of two, out of all of them are still in That's Puerto Rico. That's a lot of first cousins, yeah. right? Yeah, if I would have stayed in Puerto Rico, I would have married a cousin, not realize it because we just have that <laughs> much. you're all related. We have that much. So many of them. So, uh, so I, I, you know, I, I've always been a workaholic. I, I was just telling you earlier, my dad is the hardest working man I know in my life. I love that story. And, love uh, that. and I'm number five of seven of my dad, so. Wow, so they continued on with the big family. Yes, but I'm not gonna continue it on my <laughs> side. I I have three boys and and we're and I'm I'm good with with that. I love <laughs> I'm good it. With that. It's good with that. You're Knocked done. You're finished. <laughs> You've had enough. How old are the boys? My oldest is 21. Uh, I still can't believe I have a 21. He's girl. 21 and he's in real estate with me. And I have my 15 year old who's a, a star football player and track in high school. And uh, I have a nine year old uh, which we call Bam Bam. He's my soccer player, my football player, you can't mess with Bam Bam. Can't mess you with can't. Bam Bam. No, you can't. All right, so what did you want to be when you were growing up? What did you want to do? What was the What was the goal? Uh, that's a good question. I, I don't know how to answer that. I, I feel like having my dad have just be such a workaholic, I always wanted to just make sure that my parents were proud of me. And I know that in whatever I did, they would be proud of me. So... Uh, and that's that, sweet. Yeah, I and that. and and I I and going to that story, you know, I've there there was only one moment in my time where I felt like they weren't proud of me, and that was when I had dropped out of high school. Uh, I loved working so much. I never attended prom or um, or any of those dances that everybody has pictures of. They can go back and actually see these pictures. I never did any of that. I was that 16 year old that was like, I will charge you twenty dollars. I will do your hair and makeup. <laughs> and they would line up in my house, and I would do that, and I was happy with that. You're, I, you were an entrepreneur at a very early age. At a, at a very early age. I was, I've never been a party. I've never been that. You know, I've never been a party. I've been very sheltered. I never spent the night at anybody's house when I was growing up. My parents were very, very, very strict. Uh, I just knew how to work hard, and my dad would put me to mow lawns, and I actually enjoyed it. I don't know. It's just weird. I'm not. I'm not. What normal, were you talking right? about? You. You're a high. What? You're I'm a high. A, I am. High, I am in that high D range. You're the high D and, range, right? Um, yeah. And, see, I'm a big eye. eye, so I'm like, what? And the mow eye. Lawns? Yeah, and the <laughs> eye. So, uh, I just I loved being able to to just make money. I loved working. I liked providing for my family. I I started cooking at a very young age too, and just that being able to come home from high school and cooking dinner and just having that smile on my parents' face, that did it all for me. So I never had, you know, I, I, that, you know, I'm gonna be a, a, a queen, you know, that pageant where we're gonna 
I just, I never had I those know, didn't extra... that happen a little later on it did. in life? It did. Yeah, we're going to get to that in a minute. Don't <laughs> think I've forgotten about that either. Because yeah. our, our title is Faith, Family, and Fitness. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Rogers, I love to drink. And by the way, everybody who said... <laughs> Me too. Uh, everybody who said hi, hi, happy Friday. We love you guys. Tons of people said it, and I'll answer everybody later. But uh, so you, so what was your first like job where you go? Okay, so you were obviously entrepreneurial. What did you do that you stuck with, or did you just move sales positions? Did you create businesses? What what was going on? Um, my dad always taught us to uh, create businesses so in high school I would sell gum I would I, I was mean, always trying to sell like for you know the, the bubble so gum or awesome. bubble gum yeah the big I love bubble who gum. didn't do that well I mean not a lot of people did but no not a lot I, of people bought it and sold it they yeah. chewed it <laughs> so so I I was always doing my my dad would teach us to and and actually brought that on to my older son would teach him how to buy watches on on uh, online and would sell it in school and and that's just my dad my dad always created a business out of anything so um, I just I, I don't know I, I've always been working since 15 I was his assistant he had um, a car dealership or, or a, not a car dealership mechanic shop my dad was a mechanic and then um, after that I went into uh, Burger King I was actually really good <laughs> they wanted to put me up as team leader at the age of 17 thank goodness I didn't stay long for that <laughs> that teaches you a lot fast yeah. food teaches you a lot it a lot does. of things you like and a lot of things you don't yeah, like. Yeah, and customer service was a, a big thing. And I've, and my dad is that person that wherever you go, if you're going to visit someone, never go empty handed. Always bring something, always bring cake, always bring just, I even like if it's something dad. small, you would love him. He should be on your show. I'd love to have him <laughs> on the show. Are you kidding me? That'd be awesome. So customer service was always a, a big thing and impacting people's lives. And, and I just, I loved being able to earn my own at a young age and being able to give back to my, my family. My dad, who this day, Ted, 72 years old, he still gets up at 3.30 in the morning, he works 12, 13, 14 hour days, and on, on his only day off, has the best landscaping <laughs> in the neighborhood. Because that's because, cathartic for him, that's his release, that's, that's what he enjoys, yeah. right? And being in Disney, working at, in Disney for 40 years, God he's learned best. all the tricks of what Disney does to keep their landscaping, you know, the best of the best. And that that's, you know, I can't, I remember this story. Can I tell this really Please. quick? Please. I remember this story um, or this, this moment in my, in my life where I went to my dad's house and I said, Dad, and he lives in a neighborhood. He doesn't have a pool, but he has a community pool. And I had said, Dad, have you ever, like, it was hot that day, right? We're in Florida. So I said, Dad, have you ever just gone to the pool? And he goes, no. He had been living in this neighborhood, still there, 20 years, had never gone to his community pool. And, and that just shows you the work ethic that he has, it's just high level get everything done first and then on his day off or break time is really just falling asleep halfway through a movie that's his <laughs> that's his time that's what he and does so it. i i took him one day i said dad let's just go and i said just put on whatever shorts and there's a picture that that i hold that i have in my house um where my sister took it of me and, and him holding hands and jumping in the pool together oh that's yeah. amazing so it remind i always think back of that picture because as i'm in this you know this movement all the time in my life where I feel like I'm not stopping and you know I, I, I'm a single mom with my boys I real estate it, finding that balance is very difficult and I always think back you know I, I don't I admire my dad so much for his hard work but you, it's not all work when do you have time to kind of like right. enjoy life and and do those things so I'm excited to surprise him with vacation this Oh year. no way! That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. He's Sounds a, like he's, he's your not hero. Gonna, oh man, he might see this because he just he just became a Facebook, you know, a person or created his We're account. Just blocked out. We're blocked. <laughs> <Dear. laughs> Everybody yeah. said hello. By the way, Jeff yeah. Jeff Rogers. The answer to that is zero. Yeah. Um, so tell yeah. me about the faith part because. Um, we have family, which we've talked about, and then we'll get to fitness, because that's when we have some crowns or some <laughs> pageant things. Yeah. I'm going to say pageant. <laughs> I know it's not that. Um, tell me about the faith part. Uh, faith has gotten me through a lot of things in my life. Um, I got married at 18. I had my first son at 18 and um, uh, was in a up and down marriage for many, many, many years. Uh, was actually married uh, 19 years. Wow. Uh, had three boys, same guy. So, woot woot. <laughs> not, you know, I don't have baby. I like I have to justify or clarify that today. <laughs> I don't have, uh, I only have to deal with one, not like many. And uh, 
Um, and, and so in that uh, falling marriage, um, I turned to be faith driven even more. So we're, we are, you know, faith based and we go to church and all of that. But I didn't I didn't really kind of cram in or, or go into church as much as I did until I had that moment in my life where it was a, a turning point. So I either I have three boys <clears throat> and I'm either I didn't expect anything from from him financial or anything like that. I said, I need to do. I need to do this and I'm not going to turn to alcohol and I'm not going to turn to going crazy into clubs or, and I'm not going to go into just nothing but, but working and providing for, for my boys. So I turned to faith. I went twice a, a week. I, I started going twice a day fitness, became a fitness fanatic, which brought on another opportunity. Yeah, so talk about the fitness after. part. So why fitness? Was that your release? Kind of like your yes. dad's is gardening? Because I couldn't punch him out. I needed to. I needed to release a lot. Of, yeah, I needed to release some energy because it's not easy being a single mom with with three and 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 no income coming in anywhere else other than what you're bringing in. So I, I and again, I didn't turn into none of the bad habits that you know others may go to. So I was like, I'm not going to disappoint my parents. I'm not going to disappoint my kids. I'm going to do everything that I can to to bring them up. So I uh, worked and I was like 118 pounds. I was in the best shape of my life. This was like twice a day I would take my kids to karate and while they were doing their hour, I was at the gym. So it was like at five in the morning and then also in the afternoon. And then I had a scout, I guess a, a scout as, as you would put it, the CEO of a pageant, which is Miss Mundo Latina. I thought it was a scam. I didn't know, because you got to well, be careful Because you don't really know, you really have, you have to be careful. Exactly, and, and I just, I was like, I'm so busy right now. Like I was so afraid to do anything less because I was already struggling with having time for my family. And then I said, I told my 14 year old, uh, cause he's very opinionated. He is, I can't I wonder wait where he gets that uh, from. Oh my goodness. He's, <laughs> so I said, I, and they were going through a tough time. So I didn't want them to have less of me. Sure. So I said, what, what do you guys think? And he actually told me, you'd be stupid not to. And I was like, this is my son telling me this. So I took them with me. We went to, um, an audition. I wore the little number and I went up on stage and I was just nervous and all these judges are there and they're asking me all these questions. And and I was, um, they wanted me to represent Florida. So on that pageant, I represented Florida. I was top five in that one. And so I was, I met a lot of, I have a, a lot more respect for the women in that industry. It takes balls. Can I say that? Yes, uh, you can, takes, but that's exactly what it takes. It right? takes a lot of confidence, a lot of, there were girls there that did not, they knew they weren't going to make it, but they still walked in that bikini. I they have so still, much respect for people like that. And I, I was their biggest fan, you yeah. know, and there were bad comments, you know, behind the scenes, it's a, and th this, that industry is very cutthroat. Oh, it's um, painful, that industry. It, it very much is. And, and I would hear you know, them kind of say, no, you're not going to, you gotta lose a little bit more weight to do that. And that's, they already, they know that, you know what I mean? Right. But they still did it, you know, and whatever that, that was their dream. Then I got after that pageant. So I you liked it enough to continue. I didn't want to continue after that. Oh, it was didn't. just, I just wanted to say I did it. It was never my dream to be the, the, like a princess queen or, you know, that wear the crown. I just, it wasn't, but another scout, Angela, uh, Bosilio, from Miami saw and was following me and had messaged me and said, you just came out of this one. Mine is in two weeks. Would you do that? You're already ready. And I'm like, oh my God, mind you, when you do these pageants, it is from morning until, until morning. Rehearsals, um, just rehearsals, rehearsals. Re your feet are just swelling. I remember oh, I like starting imagine. at like six in the morning and then being at like one in the morning, still rehearsing in heels for the production because you only had three days to really nail it. And so I told my mom, I said, mom, you won't get mad at me. Like <laughs> there's another opportunity. Oops. And, um, and I, they agreed. They're like, obviously we're going to help you out. But this was special to me because this time I was representing Puerto Rico and that was my island. So I said, okay. So I did everything I could as hard as I could. And I, I won Miss Latina International that you year. You won Miss Latina International. Yeah. But not not in the category of like, because I know some of you that may not know so much of the industry, you look at these pageants, you're like, they're only for the 20 year olds, you know? But they had a category that was for Miss, like the ones that were married and had kids. And that's what really intrigued me the most and why I even did it in the first place because both of these pageants kind of had that or had that. And I said, all right, so I, it doesn't matter that I'm like, 
40 as of last <laughs> Sunday. At that time, I was in my late 30s, obviously. And I can still do this? Like, that exists? I saw the pictures. If you haven't, you should look up. I've tagged you, so you should absolutely <laughs> oh, look at those the pictures. The bathing suit? Uh, here's the deal with that. Like, first of all, it, there's so much work that goes into being prepared yeah. for it. But it's not just the mental... The physical, outside of everything else, the practices, the, the physical uh, amount of work that you have to do to get your body in a place yeah. that it looks like you look, Yeah. there's so much determination, so much time. How much time did you have to put in leading up to the pageant? Uh, many hours of extra in the gym. I actually hired a, a trainer to help me because I was just working out just to work out and relieve stress. But when you're going into competition and now you have a target date, I was like, I need to go a little bit more. So I hired a trainer and he worked my butt off on those leg days where were very painful. What'd and, you get uh, to eat? Um, I'm all I, about Hardly food. nothing. Probably like, nothing, right? It, Pro protein, it, probably. It was protein. The gallon of the gallon of water was my biggest challenge, believe it or not, because I'm not a, a... When I had my first son, he was born um, very, very preemie. And I, th I think this is why I'm so like, it's hard for me to drink so much water. He was born at six months term, so he was under two pounds when he was wow. born. I was in the hospital for a month prior to him being born because I was in my five month at that time, and they said if I didn't stop, because nobody could tell me to oh, stop. I got you. Nobody could you tell me forced like bed rest. Forced bed rest, and a month later he was born. They just shoved water down me all the time. You had to drink water, 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 water. That was my biggest challenge. I obviously I get you get over it. You have to do what you have to do. So it was like chicken, broccoli, just. No, I mean I think it's great. I, I I think if you look at your pictures, what I what I feel like when you when you see the pictures, um, this is a giant accomplishment. I mean, yeah. you should be, and I, I I know you are, but you should be so proud. Yeah. It's amazing what you're able to accomplish, and nobody in any <laughs> age group has anything on Janice. I'm just gonna <laughs> tell you. No, it's no. true. You look at that, and I think, okay, that's dedication. That's hard yeah. work. That is sacrifice. There's so much that goes into that. So you finally got your crown. <laughs> I did. You finally got I your did. crown. It might not be prom, but you I finally did. got your I crown. There, so, oh, thank you for saying that. Actually, now you're like, I didn't do all the parties and do all that, you know, being a homecoming queen or anything. But later on, I appreciate it more. Listen, I've seen some of my homecoming queens that I know. <laughs> you definitely are very good. That You look so much better. No offense. Anybody out there? <laughs> Oh, no. Um, so what is, what is the plan with that later? Do you, are you going to continue to compete yeah. uh, and do the work-life balance? Yeah. I won't compete into the pageant. I think that was a moment in my life that I, I'm very proud of and I worked hard for and, and I, I did it. Um, and I thank my, my son for because if he wouldn't have told me, I wouldn't have. Kids I, really have wisdom. You yeah. just have to And they motivate sometimes. you so they much. They do motivate. And I do dream boards with them. So they have such oh, big... Oh, that's cool. They, they have such big dreams. So uh, so thank you, Nelson, for awesome. <laughs> pushing. And um, so, no, I won't do that. But there is another competition because after every goal, I always have another. I'm that ADHD person. Oh, I just my God. You're like, the D, right? This is it. And, You've and got so, all this stuff planned out. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm doing real estate. I love what I do. I do it on a full-time basis and now have my family doing it with me. So what's the next challenge? Um, it's not in the pageantry, but it's in the fitness side of things. So I do want to compete in my first uh, fitness amateur. Um, I don't know even what the title would be. I just know that it's not muscle, muscle, gorilla, but physique, <laughs> amateur. I don't know if anybody knows the name of it there. They can maybe say it by the end of this year. I so turned 40 this year. I want to compete this amazing. year. Thank you. That's what I want What to does do. that entail? So, because you're right. Know. So there's bodybuilding, which as a... Me personally, as a man, yeah. <laughs> I don't find that attractive, but I have a great deal of respect yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, it's hard work. Uh, but there's also this sculpted kind of look, which I think is more it's, along right. the lines of what you're talking about, where the right. fitness, you know, you're, you're sculpting the things rather than it's all the muscle yeah, mass. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, lots of discipline on the nutrition more than anything. Meal prepping, uh, which... I'm gonna. I'm looking for a company to do that for me, and I can meal, and I'll just eat whatever they send me, and um, and the the water and the working out, and just being consistent with it. So Did I you have, give up alcohol during that? Ah, uh, yes. Thanks for the so, reminder. Once again, Ted. why I'm not a sculpted beast of any kind <laughs> so in I any would, competition. I'd enjoy this a little <laughs> bit more, right? <laughs> yeah, you should enjoy that while you can. 
So, <laughs> yes, that will entail that, a lot of things. But I, I'm looking for, if you guys know out there, uh, of what title. There's so I didn't realize how many different companies There's or so competitions many. that you can go. Yeah. And I need to sign up for one because that I need a goal to target. Sure. It's not just saying, I want to do this, and then not having paid the money and have a target date right. to achieve it. And that's that's what I'm looking at now. I have my trainer in Oviedo. I'm starting next week. So I love it. Him and his um, wife compete. It's pretty insane. I'm, I'm always amazed because it really does take, it takes, it's, it's a life commitment. Like yeah. it, you have to commit to it, body, mind, and soul. Like you right. really do have to be. And right. I love I love that because I think I don't have the discipline for that. <laughs> but I'm very respectful of people. You that can have join the me though in some oh, of the workouts. I will I will join you at the pageant. <laughs> <laughs> will you be there at least? Uh, I will okay. absolutely be there to cheer you on, no doubt. All right, Thank so you. let's talk a little about a little bit about NARAP. Yeah. NAREP. NAREP, we just came from a leadership academy. And it in stands for? NAREP, the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. I'm part of the board of directors with them on the sponsorship uh, side of things. And I'm super, super proud of the chapter that I'm a part of. Out of 100 chapters, we just came from D.C., many, many of us from the leadership conference there. And I've never been to Washington. I'm in love with Washington, D.C. I love your story about that. I Cherry Blossoms. The cher I didn't know that they celebrate. They have a whole festival, the Cherry Blossom Festival. I, I didn't know. Like, I told you I was sheltered. I'm just kind of coming out the last <laughs> five learning. years or so. And um, so I was there, and I would just it was just the smell of it all. And there was tulips all over the place. Beautiful. I'm like... What is this is so weird? Like I'm in Washington Disney. Washington in April is just it, amazing. Yeah, so it was, and the museums are all free. Like yeah. this is is totally a family <laughs> trip. I'm going back with my kids. So uh, we learned quite a bit. I, we out of a hundred chapters, we won two, and uh, and I'm very proud. It, uh, Puerto Rico. I have to shout out to Puerto Rico's chapter, who's been uh, running it for about two years as well, and they won three awards. There wow. was tears. Because they were, we won uh, the chapter of the year last year. Uh, they won it this year, and they oh, totally deserve awesome. it. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, so I love that. an incredible experience overall. It's just a very supportive group. Yeah, and, and I'm family. I'm on the I'm on the advisory board, not the real board. Uh, but I, it, you still feel like a part, and even yeah. gringos like me. <laughs> Uh, I don't speak, I speak very little Spanish. We were talking about earlier. Cerveza. Uh, cerveza, <laughs> baño. Uh, I know bathroom and beer, margarita yeah. maybe. Uh, but I, I just, I love how it's welcoming. It's very family oriented. Yeah, everybody yeah. Get, treats each other. It's, it's a loving, wonderful place. And you don't realize how important and impactful it is to your business yeah. and to your life until you get involved. Right. And right. so they're very big on doing events, on traveling together, on on promotion. And then we've got our chapter has a our chapter. We call it a chapter, right? We have a big event coming up April twenty fifth. We do. April twenty fifth is our business rally. If you haven't gotten your tickets right now, you're totally missing out. We have so many um, speakers that are going to be there. We have our uh, Orange County property appraiser Rick Singh. We will have be on the show our... next Wednesday. By the way, he is. Number 350. Okay. We have Grant Wise. This is about dominating social media and doubling your business. It, Grant Wise it. is traveling the world giving these uh, these seminars on teaching people He's how to use speaker. social media. Yeah, how do you you have to if you don't get on technology, you're totally missing the boat. You're going to be wiped out. You might as well just take your wallet out and just hang it somewhere. Listen, if some old going. crazy dude like me with jackets <laughs> like this can get on social media, don't be afraid. You can <laughs> But do everybody it. loves the jackets though. <laughs> <laughs> I try. We just bought four more. Stacy's like, "When is this going to end?" I go, "I don't know." It's not going to end because you got to always like change God, with the seasons, gotta right? Change it up. <laughs> so we have it's it's April twenty fifth, and uh, you'll have the link up where you can get your tickets, and it's going to be in the Winham over in I Drive. You can't miss it. It's 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 going to impact your business and in your life, whatever it is, whether it's real estate or whatever you're doing, you need to know what social how you can uh, leverage with social media and how to double your income. I love that we call it a rally too. Is that just yeah. that gets you empowered? Pump. It's pump. Pump. We That's have a live good. DJ. Nice. And we 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 the food the lunch is included as well. So what's the excuse? It's only we eight to two. That's the great thing about Nara. We don't ever do anything without music and food. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I love it because you do. You feel pumped. You feel it's more than just somebody speaking. Yeah. Everything around you is driving you to also feel pumped. Exactly. And feel built up and right. learn. And when you're in that mode, your mind goes that way. You're like, okay, I can receive more of this information better. Yeah. We do things really, really well. 
And really you don't need do. to be uh, Hispanic to be a part Obviously. of the National Association <laughs> of Real Estate Professionals at all. Uh, it's an amazing organization, and it, it, we really impact the community and, and in, through education, through anything that we can to, to make a difference. And you don't, you don't have to be in real estate. To, no, you don't. To go. I mean, you. So when I put up the link, and, and Janice will put it up as well, um, don't think that you have to be, it's real estate professionals, right. but we want to embrace the community. We want people to get more involved. No, because honestly, in the real estate world, all of you are potential clients. Yeah. There uh, you go. So, and you can learn from it just like we can. And so you can network in a different group. And I try to encourage people to go out, do networking, go to events that are outside of their nine dots. And yeah. so if you're not in the real estate world, don't think that you can't come and sign up and right. get something right. out of it because yes. it's going to be awesome. Exactly. Um, all right. So what did I miss? I know you, she's got notes over here, so I'm, I do. Trying, I I'm try trying to be, be cognizant <laughs> of her notes. I try to be, I, I, I am very prepared. We talked about the pageant stuff. Okay. We got, I did that and I'm. I love it. Because you know, <laughs> you can see my notes. There are none. <laughs> we did. We talked about the rally. I want to talk about quantum, quantum leap. See, I knew there was something. Uh, there. Yeah. And there's, there's two more things and then I don't know how much time Please. we have, but. Quantum Leap, so I'm with Keller Williams, and we have been impacting a, a young adults. It's my passion, I'm a mom, I have kids. I wanna be able to uh, do whatever I can to create opportunity for, for kids, and it all starts with your mindset. I came from Tony Robbins' uh, mastery program where all he talked about was, was changing your mindset, and it doesn't matter what you do, how many opportunities are there to present, or that are presented for you, if your mind isn't right, none of that is gonna help you out. So. And my kids, I've noticed, and parents out there can relate. I got a 14 year old who, nowadays, you know, there's so much technology in the classroom. You got your cell so phone. Much. He watched a series, All American. If you haven't seen it, it's a football series. Yes, I have seen have it. Have you actually. seen it? I think Hunter, my son, likes it. Right. He watched two episodes in a matter of like three days. And I say, how did you do that? Or not three episodes, two seasons. sorry. That, that, well, they only have the one season now, which was 16 episodes. I'm learning this. I don't watch TV. I really don't have time. I'm terrible about TV. And so he watched this because his, his teachers were letting them watch in their classroom. It was testing time. I, I anyways, I'm not even, We need to give them more stuff to do. Let's we just do. say that. More, My son did Quantum Leap. He did it with, like uh, it? he loved it. Debbie Irons uh, from the Lake Nona team. And I think Jessica Estrada and maybe Chris Baker were all there. And he yeah. loved it. He he went on a, it was on a Saturday maybe. Yeah. Um, and it was, it's, yeah. it's a great leadership, kind of make you start thinking about what you want to do, give you some opportunities or some things to think about that you wouldn't normally have thought about. Exactly. Uh, and so I love it. I love the concept of it. And Hunter really got a lot, a lot out of it. And if yeah. you know anything about boys that are in their late teens, early 20s, they don't really do. get a lot out of anything yeah. that you ask them to go to. Uh, but he really liked it. Yeah, and I think that the parents, you don't want to tell them too much because their first answer to you is going to be no, right? But just, just take them. They leave those classrooms, which is a one day. How uh, old do they have to be? What's the 18 to 24. Okay. And if they're a little younger, they're not going to, you know, we're not going to say no to it, right? My right. son at 21 attend, attended one of those and a classroom and, uh, and Chris Baker was the instructor. Kudos Shout out to Chris Baker and, who's in, in uh, Estrada, who's doing amazing They're work. They're doing amazing work. They are doing amazing work. And we're bringing, <laughs> actually, on April 27th. Okay, so it's after the rally. You got a lot going After on. the rally. The rally's the 25th. The 27th, which is that Saturday, uh, Keller Williams offices throughout the entire world are having QL Day, Quantum Leap QL, QL Day. So we're impacting children's lives from the adult you know, adult children's from the ages of 18 to 24 this day. They leave there with, with mission statements. You know, you're Yes, saying. oh, he did. There were, well, it was great because it's kind of their first taste of a real planning of kind of wrapping your head around putting your ideas and what you want to do on paper yeah. and actually working through it. And again, it, it's, not, it's not just real estate. So when people say like Keller Williams is, is this, they're, the, they're big behind this. This is amazing what they do. It doesn't mean that if your kid is interested in something different that they won't get something out of this. Right. They absolutely will. It's definitely life. It's not real estate. It's definitely life. It's, um, it, it, this, there's this one statement that, that we like to say, it helps bridge the gap between education and real life because there's not enough of that. And well, so they'll leave high school not really knowing where their place, what their purpose I is, what to do. I didn't know what my do. place or, I'm still either. not sure what mine is. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out at some point. So I think the more leadership classes that you push your kids to 
for self development uh, is going is going to bring out right because as we've gotten older changers. and we get into our worlds. Wouldn't it have been nice to have self-development? All the yeah. stuff that we read, yeah. ingest, go to meetings, uh, try to get better. Wouldn't it be cool if we started that a little bit earlier? Which is kind of what Quantum Leap gets you moving right. toward. Exactly. Gets you used to it. And Mike yeah. Perez says, what's up, Janice and Ted? She's an awesome person and a big-hearted Thank hustler. Thank you. Hustler, yeah. Hustler. <laughs> I'm not in the movie Hustler. I'll leave that to J-Lo. <laughs> Here we go. All right, what else did I miss? Because I don't want to miss anything. I love all I our think conversations. The next thing that we're doing is uh, for those that are following me on Facebook, um, between, uh, between myself, uh, Cajita de Esperanza, which, do you know what that is in Spanish? Cajita de Esperanza? Cajita, I know that word. Esperanza. Uh, Go ahead, you're going to tell me and I'm going to know. A uh, little uh, uh, box of hope. We did. I, we were partners along with uh, 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 teams of mine and members of mine in the office, my colleagues. We were able to, it was a mission to be able to help the kids in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Last year was their first year going back to school after the hurricane, the devastating hurricane there. And we were able to uh, collect over 500 book bags. So thank you wow. all that supported that and helped us in, in reaching that. We had book bags that had money in it. Oh, that I love had, that. Yeah. I mean, and you know who you are out there that did that. Because they're still devastated over there. They yeah, still I mean, are. they really are. But they've cleaned up so much. Yeah. I went there last the one. Phone call. Okay. So, San um, Antonio. So, uh, so we did that last year. And I am pleased and, and honored to be a part of another school drive that we're doing this year, but this time it's gonna be for the kids in Dominican Republic. So the drive is called Give Back by Giving Packs. This is a school uh, that um, Mateo, who's in our office, Franklin Mateo, who the school was named out uh, after his uncle, who was always oh, an advocate cool. of uh, the community and, and helping the, the kids. And there are about 350 kids that sometimes only go to school with one pencil for the year. So we want to be able to Isn't do that another crazy school drive. That kids do that. I, it's just and everything that we ha we're so blessed here to have so, so much. We're if so we have blessed. good careers and 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 we can do something, why not give back? So uh, we're gonna do that. The at the Keller Williams Hunters Creek office is where you can be able to drop off book bags with supplies. Um, we'll put up a list, or I'll put it up uh, somewhere on this video or in mine on what you would want to have in there, and that's it. That's gonna be June thirtieth as a deadline to drop off book bags. So. If you haven't done any kind of charity work this year, there you go. So if you've listened to everything Janice said, are you tired? I say a lot. <laughs> are you exhausted? <laughs> Mainly because that she's absolutely crazy. She's doing everything that she's talking about and she's involved. Yeah. Um, where do you get the energy? Do you, what is your, uh, before we head out, what is your yeah. downtime? What's your thing that you relax with? Because you were talking about your dad's gardening, right? Yeah, his so that's landscaping. his downtime. What is mine? What's yours? Do you have one? Have you identified it yet? Uh, my kids are always going to be my downtime. Trying to find that way to disconnect and turn off that phone when you're when you're with your family is a, is a very important it's thing. It's so important. Even though I cannot make it through a movie, I'm sorry, kids. I'm just <laughs> like, by the time I sit... You, people that are in this motion and machine all day from like 5 in the morning, 4.45, all the way, by the time you sit and stop, this is why my dad says he doesn't want to retire. If I retire and he's in this motion, you're gonna, it's, you're gonna, you're showing your life. Right. So that's what happens to me when I finally sit on a couch. Uh, that 30 minutes or an hour or so that I spend with my kids and at least uh, one day a week, even if it's half a day, it's about quality versus quantity. I love that. And I try to do that as much as I can. All right, so we're gonna share everything that we talked about today, <laughs> yeah, everything Janice talked about. The rally, the, the drive, how you can follow her in her quest when she decides which place she's going to do fitness, yeah. uh, be a fitness queen <laughs> um, after the show. So any parting words of wisdom for them before we head out? Oh, gosh. Um, always, always, never give up on yourself. Never stop believing in yourself. Uh, in this industry, it's very cutthroat. And in anything, there's a lot of haters out there. Uh, you, you, I'm not perfect, uh, and I can. I'm my worst critic. So when I'm in my, when you're in that 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 stump in your in your life or that moment where you're just in this slump, you know, go go to prayer, pray and and find that meditation, find that what makes you kind of just stop for a second, close your right. eyes, and go, but never stop. If that makes sense. I totally never get it. Never stop. I agree. Stop. 
but never stop. Does that make sense? Stop for a yes. second, but don't stop and you pursue whatever you want. You still have to learn how to be present, and you still you have to you have to do some self care. <laughs> I mean, people have to do that. I know people that just literally go 80 miles an uh, an hour and work 100 plus hours a week, and there's absolutely no downtime. Yeah. So I think it's super important. So you shared a bunch of good stuff today, amazing stuff. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, We love you you guys so much. Happy Friday. Happy Freedom Friday. Again, we'll share everything we talked about with Janice today and just a little bit when we repost the show. We love you guys. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. Bye.